every single SKU calls for mundane daily decisions, such as moving in more stock or changing the underlying price tag. Naturally, sticking to a fully manual process for those decisions is labor-intensive, and companies have been adopting varied software-based automation solutions. However, most software vendors, and most in-house initiatives as well, remain stuck in the perspective of replicating the existing practice, which itself emerged by mimicking the original fully manual process. The expert system of old might have been replaced by a more modern, deep learning algorithm counterpart, but the whole picture paradigm remains nearly untouched. Most companies still distinguish the planning team, the people who establish the demand forecast for each product, from the supply team, the people who pass purchase orders based on the demand forecast. This approach fails to appreciate that future demand isn't independent from present decisions. If a much bigger purchase order is placed, for example, yielding a much lower unit purchase price, then the selling price can be lowered as well, potentially outcompeting the market and thus vastly increasing the demand. The solutions, originally designed to replicate a purely manual process, have been in place for so long that people have simply lost sight of the more fundamental aspects of the problem that they are actually trying to solve. Too frequently, people have become specialists of the solution in place rather than the problem itself. Due to this bias, approaches that are revisiting the problem in debt are therefore perceived as risky both by the management and their teams. Looking back, the history of enterprise software is unfortunately full of stories of vendors forcing their new way of doing things, which turned out a lot more tedious and a lot more rigid than the processes of old yielding zero or even negative productivity gains. Supply chain executives tend to largely underestimate the risks associated with any smart software, that is, any software whose correctness cannot be fully and concisely specified. Indeed, most enterprise software are nothing more than crude apps, as in diligent bookkeepers of mundane listings such as invoices, suppliers, products, payments, etc. When facing the half a century old question of adapting the software to fit the organization versus adapting the organization to fit the software, it is wise to start from a blank sheet and figure out just what the high level problems actually are that need to be solved. Is performance measured in percentages or in dollars? Are we factoring correctly the long-term implications, such as training customers to only buy during the sale? Is the approach capitalizing on human inputs or merely consuming those inputs? Is the practice driven by habit or by imperious necessity, such as two fashion collections a year versus two harvests a year? The intimate understanding of the problem to be solved, which clearly differentiates the problem itself from its present solution, is the key to figure out whether the existing solution is even worth preserving or whether it should be simplified with newer software capabilities that call for a simpler, more direct resolution of the problem.